So kind of going around like technical blueprint, stuff like that. Um, if I'm going to run a kicking session, I've obviously teed them up a little bit today because we're going to come and chat to you, but Jesus, we're going to, this is the kind of the muck about section. So we've teed, I've teed them up with one hole around rugby golf. All right, we're trying to, it's a little bit of touch and feel around grubber kicks, tacking kicks, especially with the age group we have here. All right, this is a sort of focus, but we'll look at other sides of it for different parts of the game as well. Um, I'll be looking to go in a skill zone around some striking, adding a little bit of pressure on it, and then it's some wee games, <laughs> and some kick tennis, some gaining ground, and then it's a bit of clan battle stuff, all right? So like, and games around that can add kicking. So we all know, of course, we all know Skyball, the technical blueprint. All right, kicked off side players, a little bit of variation around that sort of stuff, and different games that we can add into our environments as well. Um, but before we start, like I just want to have a little chat around around kicking. So. Um, just a, a gauge around that we kind of work around five principles of kicking, so reasons that we do it. Um, we're either kicking to score, okay, so kick pass, grubbers, anything like that, chips, relieve and apply pressure, and some of these will cross over a lot of the time, right, the board's here if we need to have a look or take a photo or whatever. Um, gain territory, okay, is an obvious one. Regather possession, something that's probably not talked a lot about in youth game, but certainly in, in adult game around sort of um, high bombs, box kicks, all right, and, and ways to regather regather possession, um, as well as cross kicks, anything like that. And, and this brings in all the different amounts of players. So wingers have a massive job in it, all right. Even though we're not actually executing the skill, we've got a massive role to play around if there's space there to go and get it or if we're box kicking to actually get in there and, and uh, try and regather possession or at least try and put them under pressure. And then we've got to target so, something again, it's probably not looked at until the top end of the game, is that target or challenge players and systems. Um, so if somebody's playing a real easy example, somebody's playing a blitz defence, how can we then ch sort of challenge that system to maybe let them sit off a little bit? So can we put a chip kick in early? Suddenly they're starting to sit back a little bit. But listen, well, so we're going to go through it, um, various parts. I'll be jumping in and out of the session. Dougal's here as a translator for me. He's obviously knows a little bit of borders, so he can then put it into actual English for you guys to understand a little bit. So again, any questions can go to him um, and then they can get handed on to me as well. And something to think about while we're doing it is like, we, we talk a lot about is there too much or too little kicking in the game, but I sort of look at good and bad kicking. So Ireland and France are, are easily, easily at the moment, top two in the world, all right, around it. But they never get criticised for too much kicking in their game, but actually they've probably got the most, some of the most most highest numbers of kicks in the Six Nations throughout their games. I don't have the exact number on it, but they, d they definitely do. Okay, so actually they don't get criticised because they kick really well. All right, so I, I challenge you to think about in your game, is kicking a requirement? All right, which it will be at some point, whether it's youth game, what some of the most sort of common, common kicks within youth games are either goal kicks, something we might struggle to work with, individually in in terms of time but restarts especially how can we get restarts involved in the game whether it's get the ball back or talk about that apply pressure and gain territory through our restarts right and hopefully through some of the games and some of the stuff we do we'll be able to pick up a little bit so happy with that cool with that grant i'll get the boys in we're halfway up the pitch right boys in the cup bring the balls <laughs> So again, like I say, we've got a muck about around their grubbers, around their chip kicks. It gives them a little bit of touch and feel. Um, in terms of technical points around their attacking kicks, especially that grubber, I would encourage to use right and left foot. All right, there's no, like, getting a perfect end over end. In reality, we're never going to be straight on in a game getting end over end. So it's around how we play about with our, with our angle of the ball and just let them try and get a bit of touch and feel around it. All right, boys, we're going to start with some striking. So one ball between two. Okay, we're going to kick this way. All right, one person on the five meter line, one person five meters apart. One person five meters apart. All right, Caleb, you can come with me just now. Guys, make sure we're all kicking in the same bet. You can spread out a little bit. It looks like they've got, you can go out, it's out with the cones. Don't worry about that. So I'm going with Caleb just now. At this distance, I want to challenge us to work with both right and left foot. Okay, we're going to start with the ball in two hands. And the big thing I want to see is a transfer to one. Okay, no trap door kicking. What do I mean by trap door kicking? Do you think, Caleb, with my hands? What, what am I doing with my hands if it's a trap door? What does the ball do? Nice, all right. So both hands come off at the same time. I definitely don't want to see that because then we don't have control. All right, so two hands there. I want to see a transfer to one and I strike it through to my partner. I want to stay nice and tall, little movement with my upper body and I want to get through the ball, okay? So we're five metres apart. We're striking in each other just now. 
Coaches, feel free to walk around, all right? Have a look, see what we see. Say what we see. You can go in a three if you need to, guys. Commit to that kick. I want you to drive it into their chest. Stay nice and tall. Drive it into their chest. Love that. And common things I'm looking for in here, guys. All right, it's really this is a great coaching tool, these microphones. All right, things I'm looking for is staying real tall with our body. All right, and then my body going through that point of contact as well. We don't want to end in a lunge position because then we're not controlled. All right, we're not going to get maximum distance. I want us to stay nice and tall. We kick it and I want to finish through the point of contact. Nice. Real good. Drive it in the chest. Lovely bit of peer feedback there, Caleb. And then we just grubbered it dumb. Nice, mate. <laughs> so we're striking through the ball. Okay, guys, this side. Guys, this side of me, I want you to go back to the 22. All right, don't kick anything yet. The other side of it, all right, in the games we want to play, we're going for distance or kick pass, etc. So we want to get the ball to space really quickly. So I talk about three levels of ball drop. So level one would be that low one. So that would be then driving to space, okay? Head height as a marker, but it would probably go above head height. And that drive to space. Level two would be a bit longer. Maybe an exit kick, all right? We're trying to get it in the air, maybe get it off the pitch. And then level three would probably be hip height. So then we're looking at like a box kick or a high ball, really. So we're not really looking at level three today. I want us to try and challenge ourselves to get to level one or level two, all right? So low to the ground. Again, I'm going to Caleb. We can take a step into this if we like. Let's drop it level one. I don't want to drive through and try and get hit his chest. Okay, let's challenge ourselves. We can go right and left foot here as well. If we can, let's go. Nice, so keep that right shoulder, left shoulder, sorry, through the ball. Get your hips to target. Hey, Challenge here is to not to make your partner move. Ball below head height if we can. Make your partner not move. So we need to take a log off there, Scott. Punch through the bottom of the ball so we get a lovely backspin. Nice. Really like it. Great strike. Are we working with all forwards and backs at youth level, do you think? Absolutely. I think for forwards and backs, like if we look at the amount of players that are that are changing positions from what age do you work with? Uh, under 16. Under 16. So I'm seeing guys that are transitioning from back row hooker into the centre. Yeah. All right, and vice versa. So, like, I'd I'd encourage it for everybody to be working on all sorts of skills and be a triple threat player. Pro players that can kick well as well at adult level. I'm saying now as well. Absolutely. Like, if we're playing like a a one three three one at adult level, as most teams do now, you see these flankers on the edge now starting to put grubbers through, especially grubbers. Like, we don't necessarily need to be able to kick the ball miles like Tad Burn or anything like that. But having a bit of touch and feel about what we do is definitely good. All right, and be able to recognise space. Yeah. Anyone managed to not make their partner move yet? No takers. Last couple and then we're going to move back to the 10. Great ball. I love that Argentina ball as well, it's my favourite. Great strike. Love that, love the flight of it. Okay guys, that side now I want us to go back to the 10 metre line. Alright, so now it's not just about how many reps we can do in as little time. I want us to have some real deliberate practice. So we'll get the ball, whatever it is. Okay, I'll just go Caleb as well, because we'll be working the whole time. I want to pick my target. And when we're going for a bit more distance, we want to try and get to 45 degrees. So if I'm thinking my target's at 12 on the clock, my body's going to be facing around one o'clock, all right? So just off target. And then we're thinking shapes. So a lot of what I see is when we try and get power, as we're coming in, we're real C-shaped and we swing right round and we come out of it. As soon as my left shoulder or my non-kicking shoulder comes out of that kick, that's when we slice it, we hook it and we get real variable. Okay? So again, body here, I'm looking at a J-shape, so curved at the bottom and I straighten up towards my target. Left shoulder's nice and closed. I'm going to drop it with just my right hand, that left hand's going to come off it. I'm going nice build momentum into the kick. And then we're striking through towards our target. Alright? 
I'm not bored if it goes over our head necessarily. Okay, maybe try and take a bit off so Caleb's not sprinting into another group. But we're having real control, real deliberate practice around it. Okay, let's go. Thanks, Caleb. Oh, mate. That was just lazy. That was a lazy, lazy strike. Great take. Challenge yourselves, both sides of the game. Make sure we're trying to catch it as well. Try and catch it. Two hands off the chest, just for a bit of practice. Now this sort of session, just for coaches wise, can you still hear me? This sort of session, just for coaches wise, this is the sort of thing you'd maybe typically run in like a, a backs unit, a traditional back split. However, just that question that we talk about there, we definitely want to be using both set, both sets, so backs and forwards at sort of youth level. And some of the games we're going to play can definitely include back, include forwards as well, because we've got to understand like there's there's different parts to come to it with the kicking game in terms of kick chase, uh, counter attack sort of principles and things like that we have in it. Nice boys. Has anyone tried a weak foot kick at this distance? Henry's going to go for it, everyone watching Henry. <laughs> nice mate. Hey, that's good though. I like the effort to strike it, get hips through the, towards the target though. Right, you didn't hear that, did you? Okay, just going to add in a little bit now. So we're just going to work with the person next to you. All right, so two, 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 and you can go on a three in the end. I'll just work with you two just now. You got a ball. Chuck a ball. There's one there. Perfect. Just grab that one. So one of the partners, okay, is just gonna, we're just going to add a little bit of pressure, a little bit of variable into it. So one of you guys at the end, you're just going to hold your hand up. We can change where we're standing. All right, and then that kick's going to come to you. So I'm going to grab it into Callum. Callum's going to scoop it. He's going to attack the ball. He's going to get his head up, and he's going to find whoever's got their hand up around there. All right, so now we're looking at a little bit of accuracy, some actual kick pass, kicking for your partner. So I'm there. I'm going to grab it in. He's going to scoop and he's going to find his partner. Great strike, just got off that. Keep staying the kick all the way. All right, we can, add, we can when you vary that a little bit, so after you've grubbered, you can add a little bit of passive pressure. I'm not wanting you to go charging it down because I'm not wanting you to break your nose today. All right, we can add a little bit of passive pressure just so we've got to find some space to then be able to kick it. All right, so we're just working your two or your three. Make sure you vary the distance of what we're doing. All right, let's go. Put, you can put your hand up late if you want. You can put your hand up late just to make them move. Great nudge. And then find them, Caleb. Great strike. Nice, Scott. You can get a little bit more control with that right hand. Still just chucking out a little bit of trap door kicking still. Why was it terrible? It'll hit along the ground, but why did it go along the ground? I never asked, I never saw it, so you'll have to tell me. Came over too much, nice, so stay nice and tall that next one. Good nudge. Okay, challenge yourself, guys, right? How quickly we can scoop that ball, locate our target, and then drive it into that space. Cool, so we're just sort of adding on the pressure a little bit. Guys at Grubber putting a little bit of passive pressure just so they have to move. You can use a little step. Bit of, find that lane. Nice, keep working through towards your target. Get that J shape. What I want to see at the sort of levels I work with, so even like I'm thinking under 20, under 19, under 18, is that guys that come out of school, your 10s and your, and your fullbacks, sometimes your 9s are generally quite good at kicking because they're the ones that do all the kicking. But at the moment, we're going to vary what we do. If we want to have a bit of variation around our game, if we want to be triple threat players, we, we don't have centres that can kick very well at the moment. 
Um, we don't have wingers that can necessarily kick very well at the moment. If you look at what New Zealand do, uh, New Zealand teams at the moment, they don't have very many rucks in the 15 metre line. All right? Reason being, as we all know, when you get into the touch line, suddenly that becomes, everyone's just bringing line speed from there. So when New Zealand teams get into the 15, what you'll see now is wingers either putting it in behind or really trying to keep the ball alive. But you see them now more so putting the ball in behind and then putting a chase on because we don't want rucks in the 15, or well, they don't, um, depending on your principles. So I would encourage, depending, like if you're working at club land, at senior level, definitely have some principles around your kicking game. Um, Hoyk won the Premiership this year, albeit might have been some of the most boring rugby you'll ever see. I can say that. I'm from Gala, so they hate me anyway. All right. But, listen, they kicked well, they chased well, they had some good principles around what they wanted to do. Okay, we're just going to move into a little game now. So, boys, I need you in a group of four, please. Group of four. And then I'll explain the game. So, number yourselves one, two, three, and four, please. Nice. Ones, I want you to come in this corner here. So, we see red cones to halfway to touchline. Ones, you're there. Twos. You're in here, red cones, to green cones to halfway. Threes, this corner, red cones, green cones, try line. And fours, you're in this corner. So red, red, try line, touch line. I only need two balls in this game, but we can have spare. Don't boot them away, just pop them at the side just so we've got spares, so we don't need to go chasing. All right, don't all boot them away. Uh, nice, you can kick off with a ball, and you can kick off with a ball, so I'll take that spare. Oh, no, there we go. Just leave it. Leave it. You're fine. All right, so it's just a little variation of kick tennis. All right, so this is your corner. So it's a four-team kick tennis. So everybody's in. I'll take that ball. Thank you. Four-team kick tennis. Okay? If you can get two bounces in another team's square, they lose a life. All right, you get three lives in total. Do you understand? No. Of course. Okay? So you, this is your corner. If somebody kicks the ball in your corner, one, two, your team loses a life. You understand? If you lose all your life, the whole team is out. Got to go above head height, absolutely. One bounce and catch, that's fine. It's got to be above head height, nice. Yes. You go right to the touchline, right to the halfway, so it's that long corner there. Yeah, to the halfway. There's this is the trial line, nice, yeah. Yeah, it's the halfway. Okay, so there's going to be two balls going. There's going to be two balls on the move all the time. All right, a quick game is a good game in my eyes. So if you catch it, let's get it out of your hands pretty quickly to find space. Right to the trial line, yeah. If I kick it out or dead or wherever, my team loses a life. If we also drop a ball, we lose a life. Three lives, all right. I've got to have you a bit, uh, what's your name? Rory. Rory, you're in charge of your team's lives, no lying. Howie, you're, t you're in charge of your team's lives. Uh, Henry, just because I remember, you're in charge of your team's lives. And, sorry, what's your name again? Rory is, you're in charge of your team's lives. All right, we're going to play for a couple of minutes. Whoever's in the least lives, whoever's in the most lives at the end is a winner. If we've got a draw, we'll have a little bit of kickoff. Let's go, let's get it started. Nice, Scott. Good take. Quick game's a good game. Quick game's a good game. Nice. Get it moving. Get it moving. Great nudge. One. One bounce. Good recovery. Yeah, one bounce. Anyone? That's not above head height. Love that. One. Two bounces. Nice. Lost a life, Henry. Your team's lost a life, Henry. Your team's lost a life, Henry. A life, Henry. Oh, great touch. How can we challenge players or challenge systems? Nice, that's how we can. A wee bit of high ball in the wind. Yes, good take, Howie. How can we chat? Oh, I love that. Bit of variation. One. Two bounces. Lost a life, Caleb. Remember, let's have that. That was a bit of a trap door, Howie. Let's get control. Even if it is a spiral bomb. Nice Henry, good deception. Bit of deception. Anyone got a left foot? Anyone still on three lives? 
Yeah, let's go. Oh, good block. Keep moving around. Let's see it. Has that made it? Oh, I lost the life, Henry. Short. <laughs> Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Great ball. One. Good pluck. How can we challenge it a little bit? How can we challenge other teams? How can we challenge other teams? Yes. Nice. Lost a life this team, Rudy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so again, when we talk about sort of clan battles, hopefully this has a little bit of a is it is quite fun for them. It's a bit challenging. We're starting to get a little bit of communication. How can we target teams? Starting to understand a little bit tactically how we could maybe win the game. I don't think the guys down this side have realised that they've got to the halfway line. So they can kick it a bit deeper. <laughs> there we go, somebody's listening. Great ball. Unlucky, just dead, but I love the I love the intent. Love the intent. Anyone on one life? One life down here, how are we gonna get them out? You one one and out doesn't count. Wait. Nice, well plot. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. Yes, good pick. Great nudge as well. One! Oh, yeah, oh, he's knocked it on out. Okay, we'll call it there, lads. Uh, this team lost first. All right, but some real good tactical stuff, some good good information coming in. Guys, if you guys could pick up the red cones only. All right, and you can get a quick drink and then head across. Head back across. So that's kind of the first part. All right, so we went muck about. Um, skill zone and sort of like a, a wee game or a, or a clan battle. Any questions around that sort of stuff at the moment? What we're seeing? No? Quite happy? Fine. See the drop? Yeah. Striking it. Yeah. Bit of the drop in it until they're hitting it. In terms of? It's not only a drop, it'll be a right with your one hand. Cool. Right, so the hard you want to hit the ball with the hardest part of your foot. Yeah. Right, the hardest part of your foot is the, is the bone that's linked to your big toe. So on most boots, on most trainers, uh, trainers that laces are straight down, it's just the left hand side of those laces. A lot of boots now, as you can see, come down a little bit and they have that opening there. So ideally we want them to kick with that part. If we end up toe bashing or outside of the boot, that's when we get variable results again. So we want to control as much as we can when we kick, like we have the opportunity to control as much as we can without pressure. So um, that part of the boot. In terms of the ball, all right, when we're going end over end, we're looking for about a third of the way up. So the way that we can get that is if it's tilted forward. I probably didn't say that when I was t coaching them because I've coached them before, so I don't know that a lot of them are, are doing it. But if we kick like this, we end up catching that fat part of the ball a lot of the time. So we end up with, like spirals look real nice when we actually mean to spiral it, but when we don't mean to spiral it, they're terrible. <laughs> right? They're terrible. So we want to lean forward a little bit and we're catching about a third of the way up the ball. That's Boys pointing point forward ever so slightly. If it ends up there, then all we end up is like a topping golf, so it comes down really quickly. All right, so we want it uh, like about 30 degrees, 30 degrees, and then we're punching under the ball, so then it back spins and then it's staying in the air that little bit longer. All right, and if we don't want it to stay in the air as long or we want to drive it to space, that's when we change that height of the ball drop. So the tilt doesn't change a lot, but then the height of it does, so whether it's level one, two, or that three. All right, we're going to go into a little game now that's hopefully going to encourage a lot of kick pass. All right, so the game, we call it birdie touch um, because that's our call for a cross kick, but you can call it whatever you want in terms of kick pass touch or whatever. So um, the game is you'll play it in touch a lot of the time. So you, the defenders are not allowed into the yellow zone. All right, the touch line, so yellow to, uh, halfway or yellow to try line until the ball's there. So hopefully that allows sort of 15 metres of space for us to be able to kick into and then get on a support line. Okay? Right, boys, uh, number yourself. Grab a partner for me, please. Uh, in fact, get a three. Get a three. We'll just rotate this round so guys get... Yeah, get a three. Just so we're rotating around a little bit as well. Oh. 
Number yourselves one, two, and three. Uh, Howie, since you're spare at the moment, mate, you can run and get me some bibs. That'd be class. <laughs> well prepped. All right, ones and twos, you're going to play against each other first. We're playing this way. Threes, you can be behind the green cones, all right? Just ready to come in. There you go, Caleb, I'll tell you, mate. Ones are up there, twos are here. Nice. Is there none there? I'd pull it over there, unfortunately, mate. So just run into the back of that and just grab a pile. All right, guys, the game is birdie touch. We call it birdie touch. All right, so defenders, you're not allowed past the yellow cones until the ball gets there. All right, so just as an example. All right, you're going to be my winger. The ball's here. Henry, get outside me. Nice, so you're not allowed in this yellow zone to the halfway until the ball gets there. All right, do we understand? So what kind of things is that maybe going to allow us? Two on ones, all right. So we can have to play cross field kicks, all right. So there's that, there's that other option. From this edge, all right, they're not allowed in the yellow zone. I can just kick it there. Okay. If you get touched in that zone, however... Nah, we'll not do that yet. We'll maybe add that in. See, here we go. Thanks. This team can put on the yellows. Grab a bib, lads. Grab a bib, lads. That'd be awesome. Thank you. Scott, you'll need a bib. Why? No got any ring kit? It's your brother's. <laughs> I've got so much. Okay, we understand the game. We're happy with the game. We're going to play... Sorry? Both sides, mate. Yeah, so you've got to stay tight until the ball gets there. All right, we'll play for a minute. Let's play. <laughs> Easiest way to get it. Turnover. Ball down. There you go, Rudy. Play. <laughs> Turnover. Let's play. There's the ball. There you go. It's a touch. Just pass it away and play. Let's touch the ground. Let's touch the ground with it and then play. Let's go, yellows. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, okay. love that. Good recognition. What's your name? Lewis. Love that. Great touch through. What do you see? Now we go. Now we can attack. If you get touched, just touch the ball with the, touch the ground with the ball and then play away. There you go. Great touch. Can we get a catch and support, Scott? Give you the try. Nice. Let's go, Kill. Let's play. 20 seconds. It's one all. Okay, non bibs off you come. You guys on you go. Things I want us to think about, all right? So again, we talked about we talked about technical execution. What we're looking for, so staying nice and tall, getting our body weight through the ball, hips to target, is then what's everyone else's role in it. So when we're attacking, all right, where's the defence not allowed in attack? Yellow cones. So where do we maybe want to attack? Yellow cones, all right. So that means if the ball's there, it might feel a bit alien, but I've actually got to stretch the width a little bit and challenge us to get the ball here, all right? If we want a good kick pass opportunity, I want to flatten up, I want to get in line with wherever my first receiver is, and I want to be calling for the ball, okay? So let's challenge ourselves. That was one all in that first game. Let's go. We can go forward as well. We can play rugby. How can we effectively get the ball there? Great touch and get on a support line, Scott. Let's go, go. You can still attack in there, lads. Great ball. Finish. Yeah, I'll give you it. Let's go. Play with non bibs. So think about automatically like unintended consequences, coaches. I've talked about kicking and defence not allowed in that yellow. Yellow, uh, yellow area, but when we're talking about kicking, it's a kicking session, what are they automatically looking to do? Oh. Yeah, just kick it and not actually play a little bit, so definitely need to get momentum and go forward. This team has done it really well. Hopefully it's going to play a little bit again. Starting to think of defensively as well, somebody's now sitting off a little bit. Alright, so we're getting all these sides to these tactical battles as well. Oh, 
Great touch, yeah, great one. Okay, off you come, yellow, it's your turn to rest. Yeah, get some bibs on, just over the bibs. Just in your team's 20 seconds, have a little discussion, all right? Are we quite happy with our defensive? Any backfield coverage? We need to start thinking about Yellow's started to think about it. They had somebody sitting a little bit deeper on the edge. You can kick in the game. I haven't said we can't kick anywhere. All right, if you want to chip it, absolutely. So now we're looking, starting to think, oh, everybody's looking in that yellow edge, all right, that yellow area. How can we then challenge in the middle as well? We also can just play rugby as well, guys, all right? So it's kick, pass, run options all the time. So it's kick, pass, run options all the time, lads, all right? So we can still play a little bit. Kick anywhere you want, absolutely. There's one touch, touch the ground, play. Oh, I love that. Get on the end of it. Oh, unlucky. New ball, there you go. Feet. New ball, there you go. Great ball, who was that? <laughs> nice kill. Up. New ball, there you go. Oh, I'll let you wait. Go, play, 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 play. Oh, sniper, pick it up and play. Give you the score, let's go, play that one. Great ball, love that, kick for yourself, nice. Yellow to go. Great touch. Okay guys, you can get yourself a wee drink. And then we're going to go back in at a different game. Okay, so I'm going to go into an, another game now just to show, um, show us a different one other than sort of sky ball that we've got. Uh, it's called drop zone. So in drop zone, we're playing this way. All right, it's two touch turnover. At the moment, again, these rules can change. If we kick it and it lands past the yellow cones and gets two bounces, that's a, that's a point for my team. But I can also run over the yellow cones for a point. All right, I'm actually going to push it back to... Yeah, no, we'll just go over the yellow cones. So we can run over the yellow cones for a point. All right, so that's kick, pass, run option. Or we can kick in there for, for a point. Because I'm wanting to encourage some attacking kicks and kick, pass and grubbers... I'm going to sort of make that three points if we can kick to score. Okay, so a running, running score is one. A kick over the yellow is one. Or a kick to score. So a kick pass, grubber or a chip is going to be three for this. But again, listen, play around with the rules. Um, I'm going to play around with it as well. So if we kick it and it's caught in the full, that person is then going to be out for that next defence until they get the ball back. So they're going to lose a player. So then it sort of becomes, am I kicking it to the right space? Am I making it challenging enough? So then my players can get in and at least get a tap back on it. But if I get a clean catch, I'm going to lose that player that kicked the ball for the next little play. Okay. This is the last game. Um, for me, we're going to do a couple of rounds. We'll play about the rules with it. But while it's on, just have a thinking around any questions um, that we want to ask, whether it's girls game, whether it's boys game, whether it's adult game. Um, but please, I'm, I'm, here for a, I'm here all afternoon as well. So please come in with some questions. Right boys, same teams, same teams, we'll go back to team one and two, we're now playing this way. Alright guys, you did play with this with me the other Monday, yeah, remember some of you have played it with me. So the game's called drop zone, it's two touch turnover, so the same again, if we're touched, just touch the ball with the ground, pass it away. If you're touched a second time, alright, so that's then a turnover to the other team. If we kick it past the yellow cones and we get two bounces, we get a point. If we run past the yellow cones, you get a point, so you've got all options. And if we can kick to score, so whether it's a kick pass, a chip, or a grubber, and it's it's uh, it's recovered and we score, you're going to get three for that. Understand? Any questions? Still the three teams, mate. Yeah. This way now. So you've got green cones to touch line. So yellow, the yellows are the scoring zone, though, aren't they? So the yellows are like your 22. All right. So we've got to kick into the 22, get two bounces. Yeah, second touch is going to be a turnover, absolutely nice. 
All right, there's, get, make sure there is, there's plenty of spare balls. Guys that are off the pitch, can you just make sure spare ball's ready? And you're going to chuck them in when, there's, when, there's, uh, when we're needing to do that. So players, let's go. Yes, 50-22s are a point. So one bounce and off the side of the pitch also counts as a point. If it's one bounce and dead, I'm not giving you it. No, this is normal touch. Like just normal touch, absolutely. Okay. Caleb is going to kick off with a drop kick from the yellow coat. It's got to go at least past the 22. Love it. There you go, it's on, you're fine, you're fine. Still got to go forward at some point. Good pick up, that's a touch, that's one touch Caleb, now we can play. That's one touch. Yeah. Give them the ball. Yeah. Play on. It's one touch. Oh, great seed. Get on the support line. There, yeah, it's a score. One nil, one bounce. Let's go, yellow. Great option. Let's get kick chase, we've got to move. Where's the... There's one touch. Nice. One, two, point there, nice, one all. Let's go, next point to the winner, and then we'll rotate. Play away. Next point to the winner. Just grab it and bring it in and play it, Caleb, let's go. Play away. Ball. Play on. Play on, play on, play on, it's not offside. Oh, just run over. Give you the point, you could just run over for the point though. No one bibs off. Swap it round. Just in your teams, I want you to have a little conversation with each other. When is, when is the best opportunity for us to kick at the moment? All right, and I'm gonna ask you in 10 seconds. When's the best opportunity for you to kick in the moment, in this moment? Can I have a chat in your team? Best opportunity for you to kick at the moment. Transition. Janine. Sorry. Harry, transition, why? Defence isn't set. Okay. Defence isn't set. Nice. So had a real So you, you made the right decision in the end. Alright, but it was maybe just too late. So straight away, head up. Is there space in the backfield? Absolutely. I've then got to think about think think about. That's, sorry, that's broad borders coming in. Think about all right, driving the ball to space, staying nice and tall and then getting it there and trying to get my two bounces. Okay, you guys are now going to kick off. It's going to go minimum past the 22. Think about if we can get, I'm going to give you, if, it, if they don't catch it, you get the ball back. It's got to be a drop kick. If they don't catch it, you get the ball back. Nice, good. One touch, now we get out of here, yellows. Decision. Yeah, there you go, new ball. Oh, feet. Play on, there we go, that's one touch. Now what do we do, yellows? How can we work it? Oh, go, 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 go. Nice, score, let's go, yellows, play away. Two in the backfield, what opportunities does that give us? There's one touch. Oh. One, two, great ball, good invention, let's go. non bebs have got two in the backfield, what opportunities does that give us, Yellows? Remember, any kick pass is three points, so they're a three-pointer. Feet, that's one touch, get on side. Oh, it's good options, good chat, I like it. Turnover, drop it in play. That's one, play on. There you go, there's the transition, now we've got to support. Feet, finish, finish. There you go, it's over the line, that's one. Go, give him it, play. That's a try, mate, nice. Go, Harry. Yes, try. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one to the non-bibs. Can we get a three-pointer? That's a great ball. One. I'm giving 50-22 for that, that's a point, yellow. Great nudge. 2-0. It's going early. We've got to chase now. How are we though? We've got to go. 
<laughs> Love that you went with the left foot though. Love that you out of Ash. Yeah, great wall. Rotate it round. Rotate it round. So already we're certainly seeing differences. Listen, this is five aside. This is, I think it is five aside, yes. This is probably the least I'd play it with um, when we do backs units and stuff like that. Uh, that's why I went three teams. It is a bit of a tiring game. This is something that we, we've done every Tuesday. Um, the under 20s in the lead up to the Six Nations. And it came out that we were we had the most kicking meters in the Six Nations and sort of kick errors were the least in all the Six Nations as well. So this became one of our stock games. It is one of our stock games now going into Kenya as well in the World Trophy. Um, we're actually just playing around how we can how we can encourage more attacking kicks because we definitely feel that's an area area that we didn't use enough. Um, we only used attacking kicks twice successfully in the Six Nations. Both were against France um, on counter-attack, funnily enough. So it just shows you in terms of transition that if we kick to there and the kick chase all goes here, one kick can actually beat us in transition as well. So there's opportunities all the time. Uh, in terms of backfield coverage, what, what are you guys seeing at the moment? What are the, what were the non-bibs doing? What are the L's doing at the moment? Two in the backfield, why have you chosen to do that? Nice, so we're going to defend kick first, and then if they start to run, are we going to change the picture? Maybe, I haven't thought about that. Line. <laughs> nice, okay, let's go. Last, uh, we'll go two more games. Two more games, and see we go. Uh, back behind the yellow cone for me, please, nice. If they don't catch it on the full, you get the ball. Let's see it. Play on, let's go! There's one touch! Go, do it, do it, do it. Finish! Oh, we went too late. Play on, there's one touch. Now we're deep in our area, what can we do? Oh, Harry, what happened there? Talk to me through the game. One touch. Give you the score. Harry, let's get that ball drop a bit wider next time, boss. Harry, right, Harry, right. Feet. Yeah, score, nice. Play away, play away, do it early. Great option. One. There's only one in there. There's two bounces, but there's only one in there. Great nudge, great. This. Now we've got to go. Now we've got to kick chase. We've done it early. Yeah. 50-22, chuck another ball in, lads. This way. Great 50-22, love that. Still not seen a three-pointer. Still not seen a three-pointer. Is it a three? <laughs> no try. Let's go, play away, yellows. Love that. <laughs> One touch. Give them the ball, knock on, just drop it, play. Oh, boo. Let's go, play away. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Go, 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 go. Great seed. Can we get a three pointer? Yes, yeah, score. Last rotation. If you guys got the yellows, I think. Last rotation. Yellows, you're on a kickoff. If they don't catch it on the full, it's going to be a turnover. Guys, I'm just going to play around with the rules a little bit. Okay, so if I kick the ball, if I kick the ball and it's caught on the full, all right, I then can't come back in the game until my team get the ball back. So you lose a player. Do you understand? That makes sense? Yellow's going to kick off. I'll take the ball, Caleb. You get the ball, you get back in when you get the ball back, when your team gets the ball back. All right, so you just take a knee. If it's caught in the full, if it's caught in the full, you ready? Oh, it's a beauty, it's going dead. Right, Henry, you're out of the game for the next phase, let's go, play. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that. Now you're back in, Henry, you've got the ball back, let's go. That's... There's one touch, let's play. What are we doing now? Play, good, good ball. Go forward, go forward. That's one touch, Caleb. Knock on, yellow, play. 
Great decision. It's caught in the fool though, you're out. There's one touch. Yeah. Knock on, yeah, well. Just take the one if it's there. Finish. Score. Let's go. Play away. 40 seconds. 40 seconds to go. Oh, still this team's ball. Still this team's ball. Knock on. Let's go. Play. Two in the backfield. How can we work it? Hold your width, winger. Yeah. Yellows play. Last 20. I know we're tired. It's hot. Yes, Mitch. Shot. One touch. Is it two? No, nah, it's one. Let's play. <laughs> Yellow card, anyway. Okay, boys, in we come. I'll just have a quick chat with you guys and then we'll go over. So, what sort of things were we starting to think about in the game there? When it's a turnover. Yeah, so when it's a turnover, get my head up straight away. Can I then put pressure on? Absolutely. Um, defensively, when we're defending with two in the backfield, when they started to run, did we change the picture? It's all quite soft, so we didn't really push up. We kind of just stayed together. And just... Yeah, we went quite soft, and then when actually they made a little bit of a line break, we didn't we didn't probably then go and defend defend the first threat, which was the run. If they're kicking behind us, and we can't defend everything at times. All right, so we've then got to go and defend that as well. But hopefully that challenge. Yeah, I appreciate your effort, guys. All right, thanks for thanks for coming down. I'm gonna go and chat with the coaches. If you could sort of tidy up some of this kit, make sure. See these balls, the good balls. They go in my bag. All right. <laughs> Nice guys, so listen, I've obviously played around a bit of the rules. Um, like I said at the sort of start, that would be a typical backs units kicking session. It only involved the backs, a lot of high speed running, a lot of changes of direction, a lot of counter attacking opportunities. Um, in terms of bringing kicking into games with, with everybody, I would massively encourage it, especially uh, senior level. There's there's various things around like two, four, six touch. So two touches to get out your 22. Uh, four to get to the halfway and then six to score or unlimited to score depending on what your principles are as a team you can definitely play around with with the rules what's how many touches we have where or whatever you want to do um, but definitely having something there that stick on because what we found here as soon as we have two touches right so it's two touch turnover there say it's two touches to exit it then becomes that afterthought we go oh we've got two, two touches now now we've got a kick and it becomes panic, it's not organised and when you see teams kicking well, I'll come back to that, like there's not too little or too much, it's kicking well or, or not kicking so well. And when teams kick well, it's generally because they're organised to do it and you can get a good kick chase, we can go long and even if somebody does catch it on the full like it happens here, if we kick well we're definitely going to get a bit of pressure, we'll maybe get another kick and it's that second one that we can counter attack and play from. Um, we definitely have the run first mentality which is fine here because there are under 16 going in under 17, like that's what we're after. But in terms of getting your head up and getting the ball to space and play around with it, and there's mass loads of opportunities within that game to do that, hopefully. Any questions around it, guys? Yeah. yeah right. So, see in that game, there's plenty going on. Yeah. There's plenty of aspects. See if something's. If, if you're, you're teaching it new to a group and they don't quite get it, you do like the whole part hole, do you buy something like that? Absolutely. And I think, like, in terms of the whole part hole, like, you come into that game, you come out, you go back to that striking practice we did. I definitely went gradual build up there. Um, but coming out, doing it a little bit tired, actually going, no, listen, remember, guys, remember some of the key points. I want to get that transfer across there. I want to stay tall because all that happened there, you're absolutely right, is I could come into a breakout because I'm now starting to see people going real wide. I'm starting to see inside of the foot, people shanking it left, right and centre because there's a little bit of pressure. And then start to question again, probably that two-touch turnover, I could maybe make it three or four. So then hopefully start to think a bit laterally around all right third touch fourth touch we're now starting to think we might have to kick um, but i think what we probably find and what i have found is you can make it as many touches as you want it doesn't matter they're always going to get to the last and go oh Christ, this is the last one i'm gonna to have to kick it <laughs> all right so definitely a bit of forward planning kicking on the front foot's a massive part of it as well so we're going to be under less pressure if we're able to do it so we're going to be able to execute a bit better but little little practices you can add a little bit more pressure maybe there with the grubber You'd have a ruck and shield coming at it or whatever it is, but just a little bit more pressure on, on people to then take it into the game. Good question.
Anything else? If your team's not really experienced at picking like these guys up, yeah, yeah. Where they need to progress at just at the level that what age do you coach at? What age do you coach at? Sorry, all different ages, but I'm going to be doing the S1. I do S1 just now, cool. Right cool. So, what I would encourage is through gameplay, so your sky ball um, and things like that, is actually just touch and feel. So, at the start, remember I talked about rugby golf, I wasn't really having a lot of technical input because realistically, we're not having straight on, we're not going to be in that position. So, just encourage little games like that. Um, encourage kicking in your in your practice just to get them to kick to space. Reward it as well, because um, then suddenly, a little bit of that, a little bit of playing around with it, we can then bring some technical points. Okay, we're kicking a little bit more. So, so what can we actually make it look like? Can we make it look look a little bit better? Right. But just encouraging it more within our games. I, th I feel like for long enough, we're definitely getting better, but we still have times where, no, there's no kicking, there's no kicking, there's no kicking, get the ball back, that's a turnover, ruin the pots or whatever it is. But we've definitely got to encourage it because it's, it's a massive part of the game. Like, Everyone wants to kick it, but nobody quite knows how to. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone wants to kick it before training, absolutely, when they're not met. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but like, as we're seeing, especially in the, in the girls game side of it, like, that's probably the most improvement in <laughs> single most improvement part of the game. Um, because defences are getting better when have different ways to be able to do it and everybody needs to have that skill uh, I come back to like nines need when they get a bit older potentially but nines need to be able to box kick standoffs need to be able to kick it long or attacking kick centres need to be able to, to grub it because it's a requirement of the game now can I ask when yeah of course drop kicks yeah we never really covered never really covered it there absolutely you only get teams only get one or two players that you can do a drop kick Absolutely, and listen, there's a lot of, like, most teams have it now, so, again, like, it's probably the most, again, what age do you coach, or? It's under 15. Under 15, so, what's the most common kick you see in the game? We talked about at the start, like, it's either a conversion, or it's a restart. Yeah. So, do we incorporate restarts in our, like, I'm not expecting us to have conversions again, we can definitely have it at some point, but do we incorporate restarts in our training, like, even during our games? No. Exactly, so, like, because you can start to talk about how do we get the ball back, yeah. All right, it's because then players are going to play about with ball drop, everything like that. But in terms of principles, it's very similar to what we talk about with a with a drop punt, except the ball's going to be upright. All right, it's not going to be tilted forward because obviously that's going to bounce away from you. So it's it's a lot of control. We're going to get it on our right hip, and we're going to be real controlled around the way we drop the ball. That's the biggest part of a drop kick. If we get that part right. All right, it's not scooting away left and right. We're going to get most most of the other parts right, and there's going to be transferable skills from our drop punt, staying tall, getting through the ball, getting your hips to target, things like that. But definitely encourage it in games. Like if it's if it's going to happen in your game, how do we get the ball back from it? Absolutely, especially under fifteen. Anything else? I mean, I'm going to be around the rest of the afternoon, guys. So please just just catch me around anything that we want to chat about. Um, if it's senior level, I'll definitely encourage us to have some strategy around around what we do, um, some principles around it, because I think it's probably an underutilised part of the game. Actually, one more just note about the views, like different shape balls. Aye, yeah, sorry, absolutely. So, um, for drop kick, that's a real good one in terms of timing. So, like, if we're not quite getting the ball drop right yet with a rugby ball, it's a great question, Andy. Thank you. All right. We can definitely use a football because that's not going to give any variable around the bounce. I was actually going to use a football in that drop zone game, but I totally forgot. Um, because we're, if we kick a football to space, we we'll get two bounces. But it's going to be a really good kick to get two bounces because we can predict the bounce. Um, but with a drop kick, again, timing-wise, you can definitely use that football because you're not going to get any vary around it and we can get more probably consistent strikes to start with and then we can add in that rugby ball. That's particularly maybe for those for the rest of those guys out with the two yeah. that uh, that maybe aren't so good. Nice. Brilliant, right. Uh, focus. I'm sorry. It's really reversed to the technical side of it. Working on it. Working on it. There's a... whole new online platform that's going to come on in the next couple of months. And then all the Dodsey, basically Dodsey's just going to spend three months filming with us. Um, and then I... Yeah, it's going to be like, we're trying to work out like the best way to do it because Obviously, there's a normal a normal standard punt, as you will, but various different types of kicks that we don't want to get, again, the grubber I talk about, we don't want to get too technical around it because there is a lot of touch and feel around it, so we're trying to work out the best way to do it. But no, that's definitely something we'll be looking at doing. Cool. All right, folks. Uh,
just a bit of a thank you for Dodsey. Here's one of the Oak and Black whiskey boards for you, mate. Oh, for your thanks, mate. Today. Um, and thank you very much. Thank you very much, mate. Right. Thanks, guys. That's, uh, that's <laughs> Superb. Right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.